Kid Rock has made a Let's Go Brandon song. Oh, yes. Mr. Reagan. Now, there have been several awesome Let's Go Brandon songs that have come out recently. Uh, the best one, I think, is by my good friend, Loza Alexander. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You know what they say, huh? I love that song. I've got it on my fitness playlist on Spotify, and so should you. But here's the thing. So nobody really big or mainstream uh, or like hugely successful has produced a Let's Go Brandon song. But now somebody has. And his name is Kid Rock. My name is Kid Rock. But before we get into it, I have to sell you something. It's a new year and not much has changed. Houses are still selling in like a week. Interest rates are at zero. Our government is still borrowing money. Excuse me. Printing money. Five trillion to be exact. What could possibly go wrong? Meanwhile, consumer confidence has hit a 10-year low. Inflation's hit 6.8%, with parts of the U.S. seeing rates as high as 8%. Something is not adding up. So what can you do? Well, you can play it safe. Put some of your assets in precious metals. This will keep your money away from the volatility of the markets. It'll keep it away from inflation, and it will let you sleep at night. Now, this month, Noble Gold is giving away a free one-tenth ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan that you start. So talk to an expert at Noble Gold, and they'll run you through your options for keeping your money safe. There's no pressure. There's no hassle. There's no call centers. You just get a chance to speak with somebody who knows what they're talking about for once. How refreshing is that? Call Noble Gold at 877-646-5347 or visit their website at noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Now, here's the thing about Kid Rock. I've never been like a huge Kid Rock fan. I did like that first song that he came out with. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm not I'm not like following Kid Rock's career. I've not like listen, you know, I don't have his albums or anything like that. I know you kids, you don't even know what that means, but yeah, in back in the day we used to have to buy a full album. <laughs> now you just stream all your music on Spotify. Nobody really And you know what? I listen to Pandora, which is kind of unusual. Not a lot of people listen to Pandora, but I like how it recommends new music once you put in the the stuff you like. Anyway, point is Kid Rock has actually produced a song that criticizes Joe Biden and basically everything that's going on in the country right now. And I, I, I don't know, it's not my favorite song in the world, but uh, I, I do like the messaging, even though it's very, very vulgar. But there is a little bit of news attached to this, like more serious news, which is that Kid Rock is the first musician that I'm aware of who's actually refused to play in any venue places that won't allow unvaccinated people people to come to the concerts. He, he refuses to go play any venue that won't allow uh, unvaccinated people to come to the concerts. There's a lot of talk about vaccine mandates and venues. People saying, I'm not going to that venue because there's a vaccine man- mandate, this, that, and the other. Trust me, you don't have to worry. You'll be getting your money back because I won't be showing up either. <laughs> if you think I'm going to sit out there and say, don't tell me how to live, that we the people, all people are holding up their vaccine cards and wearing masks, that ain't happening. And I think that's fantastic. I mean, that's a good position to have because you guys know my position on this. I think this kind of medical segregation is reprehensible. And and, and so I love that he's making this stand. So good for you, Kid Rock. I, I, really, I just want to make this video to promote somebody who I think is is on the right side of history, as the left likes to say. <laughs> and he's really the, the only one. I mean, there's really not very many mainstream musicians or actors or anybody in the entertainment field. I mean, obviously, we have our conservative actors out there um, being awesome, but there are very few people that are putting their money where their mouth is and making a stand like this. So good job, Kid Rock. And uh, I don't think I can play Kid Rock's new song on here without getting some kind of copyright strike. Uh, What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to tell you to go look up the song. The song is called, what's the song called? Okay. The song is called We the People. So go check that out on YouTube. Go check that out on Spotify, wherever you can find it. Download it from iTunes, Kid Rock, We the People. And instead of playing it here on the show, I'm just going to read the lyrics for you. That should be fun, huh? <laughs> this is a, like a spoken word. It's more of a poem this way. And uh, I, I'm like a beautiful poet in my own bizarre way. We the people in all we do. Why, why am I wearing headphones? It's weird, huh? Sorry. I don't know why I was doing that. I forgot to, I was listening to music earlier, I forgot to take them off. All right. We the people, in all we do, reserve the right to scream 
F you. Wear your mask. Take your pills. Now a whole generation is mentally ill. <laughs> and then he throws in, just for fun, <laughs> F Fauci. <laughs> Which I love that. I love that. But COVID's near. It's coming to town. We got to act quick. Shut our borders down. Joe Biden does it. The media embraces. Big Don does it. And they call him racist. We the people. Let's go, Brandon. 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 F Facebook, F Twitter too, and the mainstream media, F you too. Inflation's up like the minimum wage, so it's all the same. It ain't a damn thing changed. But we gotta keep fighting for the right to be free, and every human being doesn't have to agree. We all bleed red. Brother, listen to me. It's time for love and unity. Such a positive message from Kid Rock here. F CNN, F TMZ. And you social media trolls, y'all can suck on D's. D's nuts. That's what's up. <laughs> a little infantile, but I like it. If you're down with love and want to make things better, all we got to do is just come together. He, he really vacillates between a positive message and just vicious vulgarity. <laughs> I, th I think he strikes a, a fine balance there. Weather the storm and take my hand and then follow my lead to the promised land. Because we the people, we got to unite to follow that good time guiding light. Climb aboard this love boat and rock that bitch up and down the coast. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. In order to form a more perfect union to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Standing up and standing tall because it's all for one and it's one for all. We the people. And then he closes the song out by saying, We the people! Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! A beautiful finale to a beautiful song. Thank you, Kid Rock, for that. And uh, if you guys want to hear the actual song, please go to Spotify or YouTube or wherever it is that you is more most convenient for you and write in Kid Rock, We the People. All right, well, that's it for me. And remember, it's not that our liberal friends are ignorant. It's just they know so much that is not so. Good night. Someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of liberalism. And what is fascism? Fascism is private ownership, but total government control and regulation. Well, isn't this the liberal philosophy? The conservative, so-called, is the one that says, less government, get off my back, get out of my pocket, and let me have more control of my own destiny.